All right, here we go again. Okay, this waterfall page uses classes to make up the images at the top. Do this, find the CSS rule in the style CSS that makes the images on the top smaller than the ones in the main part of the page. Add a new rule to one of the classes and check to see if it only affects the images in that class. Okay, so here is the class right top image and here are the sources or sorry I'm sorry here are the sources pictures 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 so we go to our style and here it is main image top image so here's our top images right here. The height on all of them is 50 pixels, right? They're all the same height. Border radius five, so it's got a, a five pixel radius around it. And the margin is 10 pixels. So they want us to just add a rule to one of the classes. Let's do it here. Let's add a width. So we're gonna hit enter. width and then let's just make it 50 might as well px and then as always make sure you have that semicolon right so now they're all the same width that's it now on this one we have our class, this sanguine, which would be, where is it? Here, right? There's your class, sanguine. So let's look at our style. And here it is. A solid border of three pixels, color of dark red border. Colors dark red and the font family is cursive. And if we wanted to, we can just rip this off straight up. Control C copy. Control V paste. And now we'll use choleric. C H O L E R I C. All right, so now I've created my class. I want to go back to my index. And I'm going to copy this. Control C, right? So I'm copying my code. And now I'm going to my choleric here. And I'm going to change this. Control V. And instead, change this to choleric. And change this to choleric. Misspelled, not good. There we go right 
Now my H2 is going to be choleric. Change the name. There it is. And now my class is good. Right, so that's all I did was I used this class for sanguine into my choleric. Right, so I created a new class for choleric. And if I wanted, I could mess around with that. Pixels, colors, whatever. All right, practice. All right, create a class for your favorite month so it looks different from the others. All right, so what I'm going to do is go back to my skill building. Check out my CSS. Here's one of my classes I'm going to work on. So I'll just copy it. Go to my style. All right, now let's go ahead and change this from choleric to January. Right? So this is going to be our class January. Now we go to our index. And here's our January. Right? So what we're going to do on this H2, take off that carrot, hit a space, and now we're going to add the class. C L A S S equals, and then it was January, right? So we have our quotation January. Close it off. Now put in the carrot. And there it is, right? So now what I did on my H2, I added the class, right? So it's grabbing all the attributes from this January and putting it in the class of H2, right? And then here's the text. I could put glub glub or whatever. but we want to use January. All right, now we're going to do the same thing with the paragraph. Right, so all I'm doing is basically ripping this off. P, space, class, equals, quote, January quote and there it is right so what I'm doing is I'm modifying the h2 and adding the class I'm modifying the paragraph and adding the class so again what I did right in my style, I created a style, the dot January, 
with all this stuff. Then I went to my index. And I dropped in the class into my H2. I dropped the class into my paragraph, right? In, in that caret. So if we go back to an old lesson, I dropped in the choleric in the image, right? Just like I did with the other lesson. I dropped the choleric in the H2 and I dropped the choleric, or, ooh, I didn't even make that change. The choleric in the paragraph. And if I wanted to, I could change choleric to blue or whatever. Right. So again, created the class, go to my index, and then added the class to my paragraph, to my H2 header, to my image. Do to do. All right, debug. All right, find the bug in the autumn class and fix the code so it makes the text red. So each season has its own color, but autumn is black. So here's autumn. Class all looks good, right? So let's go to the style. And autumn is misspelled. Autumn. There we go. And now it's red. So it was just a spelling issue. That's all. One misplaced word and your code will not work. But it happens. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, choose one haiku and give it a special look by creating a class. All right, I want you to go ahead and try this on your own.